Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to this Saturday educational video. You know, we've learned a lot in the years that we've been doing this, and since we all come from different backgrounds, we've been exposed to different things that have taught us a lot of valuable lessons. And interestingly enough, every time we learn a new lesson, we thought to ourselves, why aren't more people talking about this? Well, in this video, we're putting together 15 life lessons no one is telling you. Let's dive in. Welcome to Alux. We're starting this list off with number one, most advice is useless. We know, we know, ironic for a video about lessons and advice, but the truth is most advice is useless and that's because of two things. One, someone first needs to be in your exact same circumstances and successfully come out victorious. And nobody is ever in your same exact circumstances. And two, there are multiple ways of achieving the same thing. Even for something like making basic eggs, you can find like 18 recipes. The only way to transform useless advice into valuable advice is to try it out and see if it works in your specific case. You see, when someone gives you advice, they're void of responsibility. You can follow through or not. It can work or not. It doesn't matter on their end. You have the responsibility of picking up all the bits and pieces that may be useful to your particular situation and try them out yourself. Number two, give first, take later. So many people have a problem with this because the default mentality is, okay, but what's in it for me? Most people are afraid of being taken advantage of or exploited, so they lead with their take, which sure, it can be valid reasoning, but even if you're taken advantage of a little bit, you won't actually lose that much. If you lend $100 to a friend and they never give back the money, despite constant reminders, well, it costs you $100 to learn your friend is really stupid with money and unreliable. In the grand scheme of things, giving first will open a lot more doors than it will close. Number three, you're not entitled to jack shit. So you went to college, you got that juicy education, and nobody wants to hire you because they want 25 years of experience for an internship. You're upset, you curse the world and say it's unfair. Well, guess what? It'll happen time and time again. Just because you think you deserve something, it doesn't mean that someone is forced or obligated to give it to you. That's just how it is. It's unfair, like many millions of other things in this world. You have to understand how to navigate these kinds of situations. Number four, if you're going through hell, just keep going. Did the rain ever catch you on your way back home? You're soaking wet and there's really nothing you can do about it at this point. All that's left to do is to keep on walking. If you're going through a really bad place in your life, it sucks to be you. Hopefully things will turn around eventually and the skies will be blue again. But one important lesson is to just keep walking, especially if there isn't much you can do about it right now. Just keep on walking. Everything in life is temporary. Things will improve. Number five, when a door closes, another one doesn't actually open automatically. Here's the thing. Things don't happen to you. They just happen. And you happen to be in the vicinity when they happen. It's the same with opportunities. People tell themselves that door metaphor to get some comfort and closure. But don't take it as pure advice or a pattern. It just, it doesn't work that way. Number six, if you go down a bad path, don't go full speed. You'll make some bad calls at some point. Look, it happens. And you may be in way too deep to back down at this point. So the only smart thing left to do is not go full speed. This is one lesson people who sold their house to invest everything they had all at once in dodgy investments learned the hard way. Number seven, if you don't create, you consume. 
The world is split into creators and consumers. This is such a valuable lesson because it applies in all sorts of situations. For example, if you don't design your own environment and your own path, someone else will do it for you. If you don't cook your own meal, you'll buy something someone else made, who most likely cuts corners. In the big picture, a handful of people are creators and the vast majority are consumers. But creators get wealthy. Number 8. Most things are way easier than you think. When you try a lot of things and find yourself in a lot of different positions, especially in executive ones or positions of power, you learn a really valuable lesson. Most people don't really know what they're doing and things are not as hard as you thought they were. It's just a mix of trial and error accompanied with a massive amount of winging it. Eventually, you find what works and double down on that. Number 9. You are on your own. It's been said that if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And that still holds true, but make no mistake, you're on your own regardless. Nobody cares about you the way you care, or at least should care about yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody is going to do it for you. Everyone is the main character in their own movie. They all have their own motives and goals. Sometimes they might align with yours for a period of time. It can be months, years, or an entire lifetime. But you will always be solely responsible for taking care of yourself. Number 10. Most people are dumb, and probably you are too. Like most things are easier than you think, most people are dumber than you think, including yourself. Look, harsh, we know, but you're most likely not as smart as you think you are. And that's because there are a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. You need to be aware of that and adopt a learner's mentality. You're essentially on a learning quest from the day you're born until the day you die. Be self-aware of your own limits and always take the opportunity to break them when you can. Number 11. The market decides, not you, unless you are the market. You love what you're doing and you believe it's the best thing anyone ever did. That's the equivalent of your mom telling you that you're the cutest kid in the world. It doesn't really mean that much. You can make the most beautiful chair in the world, but if nobody wants to sit on it, it's useless. If nobody wants to use what you've built, it doesn't matter how much sweat, tears, and love you poured in there. Be smart about it. Let down your ego and make the right choices. Number 12. You tell a story every day, whether you like it or not. If you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, then why would Netflix invest millions into optimizing their movie posters? Or why would Mr. Beast be willing to spend 10 grand on a YouTube thumbnail? The way you present yourself to the world tells a story whether you like it or not. If you spend an entire day in bed watching Netflix, you tell yourself a story. If you go to your brother's wedding in flip-flops, you tell a story. If you go to the grocery store in your pajamas, you tell a story. So what story are you telling to the world? Number 13. You can survive with way less than you think. You know you don't need the latest iPhone. But you also know that, technically speaking, after you get water, food, and shelter, everything else is a bonus. Sure, you've become accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Some things are making your life easier, and others are making your downtime more enjoyable. But if you think about it, you've got a higher quality of life than most kings and queens in the last 1,000 years ever did. And they got by just fine. Number 14. If you don't keep earning your title, it will expire. We really love this one, and we read it recently in a book, and it took us by surprise. We knew that past results are not a prediction of future success, but this one hit differently. If you think about it, if you played football in college, you can't call yourself an athlete now. 
If you were a good friend to someone 10 years ago, that doesn't make you a good friend for life. And this goes both ways. If you did a poor job at some point, that doesn't mean you'll do a poor job every time. Keep earning the titles you want to keep and let go of the ones that don't match up with who you are anymore. Number 15. Nothing matters and nobody cares. No, this isn't some kind of grim view on the world, it's quite the opposite actually. But think about it like this. Even if you were a superhero and you saved the world from aliens tomorrow, you might get a statue and get invited to the Ellen show or something, but after like 10 years, nobody's gonna care anymore. When you realize you're just a blip in the infinite universe, you get a more liberating sensation. And interestingly enough, when you don't take things so seriously, you end up being a better human being. And that's it for this list today, Alexer. What other valuable life lessons have you learned on your own? Leave your answers in the comments. Let's start a conversation. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the Sunday motivational video. We might just have some exciting announcements to share, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.